Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers? I have the ultimate browser tab management or bookmark manager uh, for you today, right? Because this too is just simply amazing. The UI is amazing. It makes it everything clutter-free. It's clean. It pops up so you know what you're looking for um, easily, right? And I have... Um, this is possibly by my, uh, my best experience of using a browser tab management tool uh, because you know I I have all the time I have probably possibly about 40 tabs open all at once in uh, you know a couple of different windows and I feel that it makes it very stressful sometimes and uh, you know you have so many tabs open at once it kind of overloads your RAM and you know it just makes your computer slow and you know just trying to operate everything uh, you know it slows down your productivity as well right um, it, and browser tab management it's going to help you to find what you need faster and um, you know makes your computer run much smoother faster so that you know you can get the best efficiency out of your time um, and I love this too so much because it's just beautiful and uh, before I dive into it it's called um, tap extend be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in uh, tap extend okay so tap extend works on a column or Kanban style uh, management. So, firstly, what you want to understand is that, for example, I have uh, a lot of columns right here. If you hold on to shift, this is, I mean, this works on anything, not just on tab extend. Uh, but if you hold shift and you use your mouse scroll wheel, you can scroll horizontally, right? So, that's something you need to know. Uh, just because it works in a column basis, you got to um, scroll left and right, okay? Um, and it works on a column, and uh, you, you can put, uh, and it's not just like saving your browser tabs, but also uh, the uh, uh, you can actually put notes in here okay you can actually put notes in here like this and one thing really nice is that you can actually change the color right here so you know something like this right you can change the color right here so you can keep notes for yourself um, and uh, you can easily copy the clipboard uh, so you could save like maybe you know some can response and you just copy this and you can just paste it somewhere right? it saves you a lot of time uh, you know copying and pasting stuff uh, and you can uh, create checklists like this right here let me just turn on the um, beautiful sound notification right that I enjoy all right there you go so this is the sound notification right so when you create a new um, okay so you can press uh, ctrl G right this is a hotkey and it adds a new column so that's the sound of it right okay so this is it um, and this is the sound of the checklist right it's a very nice twinkle right and I think that um, the the way that um, tab extend has been created, it um, I find that the developer has placed a lot of uh, emphasis on minor details as well. For example, when you hover the um, you know the uh, the uh, tab or the node um, has it pops up right. It's, it has a shadow um, at the bottom. So it makes it pops up, pops up, so you know it feels a lot better. And uh, when you hover across the check uh, box, you know it expands. And um, 
you know it gives you previews of your current depth so these are these ones on the left is actually the the sidebar here is actually all the tabs that i have right here and you know i i get to see a preview right of uh, if if the screen has already been loaded if the tab has already been loaded i can actually see a preview of what it is right here okay and when i shift out of the uh, sidebar it automatically minimizes and just shows me the favicon right it just shows me the favicon um, one thing i forgot to mention as well is that they do have a dark mode like this okay they do have a dark mode and a light mode okay and you can uh, create multiple uh, categories as well so you can see like quick links read later and tools right you can rename them as well okay you can rename them as well if you want to okay uh so you got quick links so possibly you can put like daily tabs uh you can have maybe like your some simple check daily checklist or whatever right here some some can response so they can easily access it right and then you got daily tabs you can have weekly uh, or, or, or important links that you don't need them open all the time you can keep them there you can have read later so there's a read later tab so if you see something you like you can save it in here so for example you come across a nice article on wikipedia you can just uh, save it in here any funny thing that you want to share with other people uh, you want to save it in here um, any games uh, or whatever you you know you can put anything that you want like per this is like maybe uh, like for your personal life uh, if you want to uh, you can have tools so these are like all the tools that I use uh, not not all but you know some of them I place them here and you can see like for example it says three sites right I can easily just click on this and open everything up within the column itself right it loads up everything saves me a lot of time right and uh, of course i can rename all the uh, the groups here you can change as well the icon right here it uses the favicon but of course um, i do feel that if they allow some kind of uh, um, custom icon upload would be nice as well but this is fine okay uh um what i heard was uh because i spoke to the team they do say that actually um the emojis are supposed to have you know the the colors itself but for some reason you know the new chrome update has turned everything to gray for some reason right so um that's something that's uh you know um unfortunate uh, hopefully they would be able to update and fix this okay so one thing that i find that is maybe not so nice is when you have some websites that don't have a favicon right and it looks so weird <laughs> but of course it's not the fault of uh tab extend maybe they could just put a uh, like a default icon in there so it, it looks a little bit better for sites or pages that don't have a favicon uh, on it you can of course you know reorder them or you can move them to different groups easily you can grab uh, you know tabs and pull them in here as well uh, you can rename the tabs you can change the link right easily right here uh, you can add notes so for example maybe I have a um, uh, password okay and then this is the username right okay for example something like that and what I can do is I can actually grab this and I can place it okay let me just place it correctly onto this tab right here and it's going to show the uh you know it's going to show like like maybe the login details or something like that right uh not sh right and then it just adds it in there very nicely so that's very beautiful um you know so you can save stuff like this easily in here right 
um, you can have multiple workspaces as well so you can create different workspaces one for uh, you know uh, customer support uh, one for marketing whatever it is uh, one for personal life whatever it is and you can also create uh, multiple categories as I mentioned so you can create multiple ones right here and switch between them alright and uh, let's see what else they have uh, you can also add your bookmarks from Chrome in here easily and uh, you can export and uh, save save it somewhere I guess uh, you can open links in new tab which I recommend turning this on otherwise if you click on this it's going to uh, you know direct you rather than open up a new tab uh, and I guess I guess right you can also share your workspaces with other team members right so that they can also see the same uh, workspace in here and that's all I have to share about tab extend I think uh, you know it is just simply amazing for this tool um, I have never come across something so awesome uh, for browser tab management um, some ways to improve I would say is that they could have one uh, it, it could save maybe like a week of my browser sessions and keep them in here and ev after every session right it closes everything and uh like maybe i could set the default uh default tab or workspace that i want and then you know it shows my previous browser or, or it could be like this the first tab could be the, the default one and then uh you know it saves all my previous sessions in there so when i open up my chrome it doesn't load up like 50 tabs all at once uh, you know and it takes a long time for my Chrome browser to open up uh, so rather than doing that I can just open up just one single tab one single window which is tab extend and I can just open what I need from my previous session or I can open up everything from my previous session so that's uh, something that I can choose right uh, so other than that I think that uh, of course there's also a search uh, search bar right here so you can you know uh, search for what you want and you know see uh, you know just find the item that you need very very quickly so I guess that's about it for tab extend um, I think it's a brilliant tool possibly the best one that I've used so far the best one that I've tested um, and I would say that um, I have done a couple of uh, reviews right on browser tab management uh, if you check out my channel I have also covered super dense as well as tab folders so tab folders works on a folder logic so you open up the folder you can you know see everything inside you can close it so you know you can keep things less cluttered uh, and at the same time open up something that has tons of stuff in there so uh, it's a good and bad thing for the folders uh, because I feel that because it works on the folder logic you got to open up and close them uh, but c comparing tab extent with um, tab folders I find that tab extend works better for people who have uh, maybe like 100 tabs or less right because anything more than that I find that tab extend you would have a lot of groups and you would have to do a lot of scrolling around uh, with tab folders I find that possibly it would be much easier uh, if you have about you know more than 100 tabs like for example I have about 400 bookmarks that I keep and I think that tab folders possibly would be better for my you know organization and but if you you know work with maybe a hundred tabs or less I think that tab extend would be a better choice for you and I've also covered super dense right so super dense works on the favicon logic I think that uh, super dense 
is also very affordable in terms of their pricing so if you are looking for you know a, a simple solution to sh to give to your entire team and improve their productivity i think that super dense uh, might be a better more economical choice than going with something like tap extend or tap folders right so that's all i have to say um i find that i have the best experience using uh tab extend against all other browser tab management tools uh, is possibly my most highly recommended I would say and if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about uh, you know tab extend in the comments below if you know anyone who could benefit from a browser tab management tool be sure to share this uh, video with them and I'll see you in my next video